Hey guys, Brian here, here from freesaloneducation.com with step eight on your 14 steps to becoming a better hair colorist. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests lately wanting me to show videos with block color techniques, and that's totally cool. We still plan on coming out with some, but I wanted to go over a little bit with block color that it's not necessarily about needing someone to give you a specific technique. So long as you understand what block coloring is and understand what to expect from it, then really your possibilities are completely endless on what you can come up with yourself. Um, I think in one video that we did it, which is what I'm going to reference here today as far as a technique that I've done and I've chosen, uh, the one video, there'll be a link below, it was concave layering and I threw in the, uh, the block coloring parentheses technique, I called it. It's really just about understanding that you're going to take a shape of your choosing and put it on a round plane and understanding that in relation to whatever haircut is going on in there, how that's going to fall as your end result. For the parentheses technique, I knew that she was going to be getting a haircut that was gonna have a lot of layering. So as you travel down the round of her head, there were going to be many, many lengths that you saw throughout the bottom of her haircut. So I chose a shape. I called it a parenthesis because to me, when you looked above her head, that's sort of what it looked like. I started with a point up near the face and then I brought it as a fatter line, riding the round of her head, and then brought it back to a point in the back. Now what that's going to do, if you look at this section here, it's gonna have hair that veils over it, but in a rounded shape. So it's not just gonna be a flat line of color that's riding through the lengths of her haircut. So when this was all colored, it all fell, and you can see it just falls to different points. Having that round here, having it the finer points on either end are gonna make it so that it's a nice erratic seeming color while it was a very, very simple shape that you created. So what I encourage you to do is start picking any shape that you like, whether it's a star or a circle or a triangle or a square, anything you want, and just understand that as you place them around the head, they're gonna to fall to different points because you are putting them on a rounded shape. So I encourage you, get a little bit of a, of artistic freedom going with this. You know, maybe start with something not extreme, maybe just a level or two off of what they naturally have, just to create a very little bit of simple dimension. Just remember, when it comes to block color, keep it simple. There's no need to get crazy. The head shape and the haircut are gonna help work with you on this one. So thank you very much. I hope that helps out a little bit. If you have any questions or anything, find us at freesaloneducation.com, all kinds of social media, and uh, stay tuned for the next step. Thanks.